Hi. There you go. Hi. Okay. Um, my name is Darby. Um, I just want to I just want to read you this poster that I have um, because I hear a lot of pro lifers. Mm -hmm. um, say that life begins at conception? Well, the reason why we believe that is because 96% of biologists say that life begins at conception. So we're actually following the science here. Mm -hmm. And I want to read you this poster that I have. So my poster reads, life begins when you understand living women matter more than potential babies. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. What Darby is arguing is her opinion about why abortion should be legal. I mean, how she's claiming women should have the right to decide if an unborn child lives or dies, and that the unborn children basically have no value. Again, we know that most biologists say life begins at conception. So, as we get into this argument, Darby and her misfit of pro-choice promoters dismiss real science, choosing to push their philosophy. And liberals will resort to philosophy when the facts don't support their side of an argument. Because when it comes to philosophy, everybody's right and nobody's wrong. However, not only does life begin at conception, that's when the human development process begins. Meaning that at every stage of her pregnancy, a human being is developing. It doesn't matter if we're talking about a zygote, embryo, or fetus. Each is a stage of human development. As we all know, women can only give birth to other human beings. Therefore, to recap, life begins at conception and starts the human development process. And women can only give birth to another human being. I mean, honestly, to claim anything else is just completely ridiculous and false.